For the first time since Hayden Jones of Texas A&M in 2012, a non-University of Texas men's diver is leading after the men's one-meter preliminaries. And that's the TCU freshman, freshman. David Ekdahl. The Sweden native had an incredible prelims. His score of a 372.20 is actually a personal record and a new school record. When I talked to his head coach, Anthony Crowder, earlier, he mentioned David trains for competitions. He dives on all the springboards. Normally, a diver will pick a springboard to train on and get comfortable with them. But David, he's comfortable being uncomfortable and his execution shows. Guys, back to you. Good evening, Kyle. Hello, everyone. A very interesting prelim. David Ekdahl could make history if he continues the momentum that he had earlier from the prelims. He could become the first diver to win a Big 12 championship from TCU and also the first diver not from Texas to win on one meter since Texas A&M's Grant Nell in 2011. What's so impressive about this dive from Andrew Harness in the prelims, he actually failed this dive getting off balance on his hurdle. So the way he was able to rebound and drill that dive was absolutely incredible. A commanding takeoff, gets his arms all the way through a tight pike, lines it up with plenty of time before ripping the entry. You know the Texas squad and Matt Scoggin were happy about that one. Gorgeous entry. You could see Borowski just completely disappears in the water. As I alluded to earlier, Matt Scoggin complimenting his competitiveness. And he's been working on his entries, that rip that you see the divers. They find that little hole and they go right into the hole before they pike save on the entry. Saw that deep breath that Owen Johns took before doing this double twister. A lot of the divers are trying to visualize their dives, relax and be calm as he sets up the hurdle, gets into the tight twist, beautiful toe point, just disappears in the water. Seems like he blocked the dives out because he certainly executed this dive really nice reverse two and a half in the tuck position showed control through and through he knows the pressure's on right really nice takeoff with the reverse category you're going forward, but you're flipping or twisting into the diving board. So you want to find that balance of being not too far away from the board, but not too close. And he finds that perfect mix on this reverse twister. A really high degree of difficulty dive done just beautifully. Nice hurdle, really good distance from the springboard on this reverse twister. Tight twist, nice square, lines it up beautifully with those twisters. Sometimes the divers can get a little twisted going into the water, but not Owen Johns. He was very pleased with that dive. Really good dive from McCourt. Matt Scoggin mentioned his reverse category is really strong. A diver that he found at a camp, saw him do a dive off tower and said, I want him. And he went to get him. Needs 40.40 to get first. And that dive should do it.
That dive is gonna put a lot of pressure on the rest of the field. And as you can tell by how loud this place just got, 76-80 for David Ekdahl of TCU. He's got a 35 plus point lead. That dive will absolutely set the table and provide momentum. Heading into the final round. Fantastic hurdle. A tight pike gets right into the twist. Lines it up just nicely. Needs 44.16 to break his own school record. Really nice dive to finish the competition with. Ekdahl just needing 31.10 points to win. And he gets it done, a 60.45. He will become the first diver to win a Big 12 championship from TCU.